happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have a Ting L528. This is an AM FM stereo portable radio with Bluetooth, MP3 player, and recorder. That's an awesome feature. Uh, you can find us selling on Amazon retail for $24.99. At the making of this video, they had 20% off, bringing the price down to 20 bucks. And just recently, they had a closeout sale on this particular color. I don't know if you can get this gray anymore, but if you can, wonderful. Uh, it was $12.50. So, wow, that was a great deal. So, if the black one goes on sale like that, I'll post it. But uh, definitely keep your eyes open. It's worth definitely $12.15 bucks, and even $20. So, let's take a look at the box here. FM AM radio. You got uh, LED, sweet, USB, TF, recorder. Alarm clock? It even has an alarm clock. Awesome. And this box, it's funny, it has like directions on it, which is fantastic. So if you lose your a manual and you keep the box, look at that. It's all right there. <laughs> That's amazing. Freeze frame, freeze frame. And I'm not sure if the other side has the same. Oh, it does have stuff. Very good problems. Technical parameters. Holy sweetness. Look at that. I love that. Attention to detail. Okay, so there's a silver one I got, and here's the black one. The black one looks pretty snazzy. Cool. All right, I'll show you what we got in the box. That side. In the box, we get the star to show. L528. Sweet. It's definitely boxy. I remember, what is that, the PL398 Texan? Kind of has that look to it, that boxy look. Yeah, liking that. What else do you get in the package? You get... A charging cable. Yes, it's USB to Type-C. Beautiful thing. Like seeing that. We get a carry lanyard. Don't know if I'm putting that on my wrist or anything, but it's a pretty big radio. It's not like a little dude. And we get a manual. I thought it was in Chinese. I'm like, oh no. How am I going to read that? But you open it up and it's English. So let's open it up. Take a look. User manual. Okay, so this thing is multi-part, so bear with me here. Okay, so we'll start out here. So you can freeze frame in case I miss anything, because it does happen. There's so many features, as you can see right there. Uh, going over here, we'll operation of the buttons. Hopefully you guys can freeze frame that. And it carries on over over here. And tuning the radio. Let's see, am I getting it all on there? Man, the print's really small. I really can't zoom in. It's about as close as I'm going to be able to do it, so you can get it all on one frame. And then our last page there. And I'll bring it in for the technical parameters again. Zoop. There you are. Great. We'll try to go over everything. All right, cool. So fun radio, but enjoying the exploration of this thing. I'm surprised what this can do for the money. All right, so that's everything with the accessories. Let's get those out of the way. Let's go over the radio. Dimensions. All right, so we have 7 and 3 eighths of an inch in length. We have a height of 3 and 1 eighths of an inch. We have a case depth of 1 and 1 quarter of an inch. For size comparison, I always have some... Little radios to my left. Let's see, I got a CC pocket in the house. There you go, 1127 p.m. Central Daylight Time in our Chicago, Illinois, USA for any kind of band scans we might do, which, yeah, with this radio, you'll find out what it's king on and what it's not on, so, yeah. All right, so there's the CC pocket in action. We have the CC Skywave in action here. There you are, pretty cool. And if you don't have those two radios, uh, you could always opt for a deck of cards. Some of you guys bought them. I can't get them anymore on Amazon. It's pretty funny. I looked at a form. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Latingies from China Land. Ding, 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 ding. It kind of goes together, you know, right? Right? <laughs> Have fun. Anyway, there you go. I like Lating. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> it's a funny name, Lating. But you know, the interesting thing about Lating, <laughs> they mean to rhyme there. But I did uh, Prunus uh, 328, I think. I talk about it. It's a little tiny guy. It's like a vest pocket radio, rechargeable. It has a lot of audio to it. It's a Latang model L328, but Prunus put their name on it. And uh, I love the brand, Latang. I didn't even know about it. And I've been carrying that little vest pocket radio with me everywhere. <clears throat> so let's look at this radio. Features of the L528. Yeah. Um, right away, two speakers. 
rock on. They're about two inches a piece. Uh, they got bright tone. They're not your low hammer down tone, which is okay by me. I sometimes don't like a lot of bass. I like a nice bright tone to my audio, and this has it. And it's stereo, too, which is great. So going to the left-hand side, you can see we've got a flashlight. Ooh, little radio is complete without a flashlight. I think it's pretty neat when they incorporate a flashlight like this caliber because it does have a good throw and spill to it, which is pretty surprising, um, with a lithium battery. It's smart. Um, you add little extra features like that, and it's just in there, and it's out of the way. Yeah, it's a great thing. So, yeah, we got a uh, display. <clears throat> Turn this on. You can see it. I don't know if it's going to start playing really loud. You'll never have the sacred stone. Yeah, there's a demo. Uh, so we can change. There's a clock mode. There's our clock mode there. I think that's the same time as the what I showed you. Pretty close to it. This is 11.32. Maybe this is running behind. I think that's new. I just did that. So yeah, <clears throat> they do this uh, old school red LED uh, display. It looks orange on my screen, but in person it's bright red. Um, yeah, it's not showing color. But I don't know if it's because of my background. Probably. This color looks right. This color looks right. But the screen definitely uh, is bright red. Uh, yeah, there's no other way to put this. This is the camera and how it's adjusting the colors. I can't get it to go. But yeah, um, it's, it's interesting they do this. Um, and I'm like, well, that's going to run the battery down. And it does. That's why you have the on-off button right there. But uh, yeah, battery level, it's a good thing. Uh, and you have different modes, which we're going to show you in a second. Right here, this little dot, I think, is the microphone and your tuning LED indicator. So that turns green when the radio is in tune. Awesome thing. Power button turns the whole radio on and off, which you're going to need to do. Remember that. Uh, we have back, forward. Um, so this is your, uh, oh, I think it auto-dimmed. Nice. Um, back, forward for your uh, MP3s and your Bluetooth. And, of course, fast forward, rewind, pause, play. And this scan is ATS, which is auto-tune and save for your radio. Not bad. You get about 50 presets. Um, that's up to 50. They didn't say anything about the presets, but they, they mentioned 50. So I'm going to save up to 50 or maybe more on FM and AM. I was only able to get around 30. Uh, when I was doing preset scans, but uh, yeah, that's a nice setup there. Uh, pause play, you can also do this for muting the radio as well. Um, interesting thing about these buttons. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of what else about that. I told you about the presets. Okay, so uh, mode button. So hit this button. Got Bluetooth. I think it just said it. I missed it because I had the volume down. FM radio. AM radio. Tuning light comes on. Auxiliary. Now, the interesting thing about auxiliary we'll talk about in a moment um, is that uh, you have no ability to hook up auxiliary to this because they don't give you the cable for it. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. And then MP3 player. SD card mode. And then if you have a USB stick, it would go to USB. So, there you go. Pretty simple. Uh, repeat function. So, uh, when the MP3 player is playing, you can repeat all. Repeat folder. The current folder it's in, which is nice, so you can structure your stuff with folders, which most people do, and uh, or uh, single over and over. Record. Recording is great. Uh, this is nice if you're listening to FM programming. Click that, and it records the FM. Now, without recording, you can hear beautiful FM stereo on your receiver. Sounds fantastic. When you hit record, it goes into mono mode. Uh, unfortunately, you can't record stereo, but it records great, and it sounds wonderful on FM. AM gets a little buzzy, but it still works, and not a problem, but it has to be a strong station. That's only This radio is only good at strong stations anyway on AM, but uh, the record is nice, and it does microphone as well. So you have the microphone recording, and the microphone recording is decent. I was surprised by that. So when you're in MP3 mode, hit record, it'll start recording your voice. When you're on the radio, if you hit tap record, it will start recording the radio. And the cool thing about recording the radio is if there's a commercial, you hit pause, and it pauses your recording. The commercial's over unpause it, and then record your next song now, all in one track. So you could do that. So you get the ability to edit out uh, things on the fly. So that's a fantastic feature. Uh, time set button, alarm set. We have a sleep mode. Here we have F going back and F going forward. That's folders. So we have multiple folders. You can navigate the folders on the MP3. And then, of course, numeric keypad to access direct for the song tracks or your presets or frequency. Going to the right-hand side, we have a tuning wheel, which is uh, fine increments. Uh, I believe FM is 100 kilohertz and AM is 1 kilohertz. So you get 1 kilohertz tune on AM. Top of the radio, flashlight switch, as you saw. Pretty awesome. We have a Type-C input. 
Uh, it's 5 volts. They recommend more than 1 amp, so I'd say 5 volts, 2 amps input would be great. A little LED comes on here. Red when you're charging, green when it's finished. And this is auxiliary. It uses the Type-C port to throw audio into it. Well, if you don't have a special cable, which this one isn't, um, I don't know how you're going to get a cable to get audio there. I don't know if there's a universal one or not. I don't think so. So that's the only downside of this radio is there's no like jack like this as auxiliary. So you're probably not going to be able to use auxiliary unless you get a different cable with yours. Mine didn't come with that. Here we have the USB thumb drive for reading thumb drives. And of course, micro SD card slot. I put a 16 gig in there. It probably takes up to 32. A headphone experience. Okay, so this is a neat jack. Um, expect low level hiss, or sorry, no low level hiss, which is fantastic. Uh, FM stereo and stereo mode on Bluetooth and MP3 playback. Sounds fantastic. I like that. Um, moderate lows, strong mids, strong highs on FM, MP3, and Bluetooth modes. And on AM, expect a flat neutral tone. Volume control, real smooth. Our whip antenna, which is 21 and 3 quarter inches, or 22 inches approximately, and it folds down and recesses. Look at that. It's smart thinking there, guys. I like it. And the fit and finish of the plastics is pretty decent. Um, everything seems well made. It almost seems like a Texan device when I'm holding this. Go to the back. We've got some printout here. Some tips about auto scanning. And the behind this battery compartment is a unprotected button top with a longer positive terminal, which is weird. Um, I could try to show you this on camera. Why not? Let's get in it. Uh, yeah, you can replace the battery, but you're going to have to use a protected button top cell to make it fit the best. I'm not going to take the battery out, but I'm just going to show you what they give you. It's a 2000 milliamp hour, which is better than the typical battery. This is just really hard to do on camera, so we'll see what we can do here. Fuss with this. Yeah, it's got a little, you think, a spot. Where you, there we go. All right, so there it is, 18650, 2000 milliamp hour. But it's a really large button top on it, which is uh, takes up the slack. And so you have to use a protective button top for it to fit because I put this in there, and this is just a little short, believe it or not. The button top isn't as big. See the button top there? So I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, so it's the first time I've seen one with a button top that large. So if you want to upgrade to say to a 3000, this will work, but it's in there kind of loose. I wouldn't like... Yeah, I wouldn't bank on that one. I'd probably do a protective button top if you can find them. Orbtronic sells them still, I think. You can find them online. All right, so I can get that back in there. Did I get it? Yes, I did. All right. And it's got the little screw. It's the only thing I don't like about it is it has a screw holds in there. But if you mean these, you don't change every day. So, yeah. So there you go. You got to look at that. So let's talk about FM reception and turn this thing on and have some fun. We'll demo it. And I'll do final thoughts. Am um, I getting this in there? I don't know if I'm... Okay, I want to make sure I don't want to strip it out. Okay, perfect. So let's talk about FM reception. So that's pretty great on FM radio. I love it. Uh, this scored uh, very good. So I have a five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most of my radios fall in between the okay to good and good ratings. DSP radios, digital signal processor radios like this, score around 60 or 65. This one edged them out. This one got 77 stations, which puts it in a very good category. Four star. That's amazing. I was absolutely impressed. It has something to do with this 22-inch antenna and a strong uh, circuit. And it has great selectivity, so I was able to pick up stations in between strong stations. I was very impressed by that. So I rated the uh, selectivity also between good to very good, so a three and a half star rating there. So above average on FM. I love it. And of course, recording it, it sounds great. Uh, so there's that. So let's go ahead and turn it on and do a demo on audio. We'll use our SD card here and we'll play some YouTube royalty-free music for a few minutes and then we'll cruise the FM band and then we'll go to the AM band and we'll do final thoughts. So let's turn this on. Bluetooth mode. There's Bluetooth mode. FM, AM, and come on. There we go. Not sure if I mentioned, uh, when you do MP3 playback, it remembers your track you're on and track position, so position within the track. So if you're an hour-long track and you're 30 minutes in and you turn off the radio and come back, it remembers, unless you take the battery out, then it won't remember. Oh, sounds good. 
and quiet. Um, I think there's some uh, old time radio on here. Lieber Brothers Company, makers of Swan, the soap with the exclusive super creamed blend presents Our friend Swan with my friend Irma. You can fast forward. It goes pretty quick on the fast forward. Nice. No one we know, honey. You see, Richard is greatly interested in the primary elections, and he's coming here with a stack of election circulars he wants me to mail. Circulars? Yeah, you know, there's a picture of the man, and underneath it is a description of what he's done. Oh, I know, like those pictures of Al's friends that are hanging in the post office. <laughs> so you get the idea, and you can pause it, and then the cool thing is you could turn the radio off, and then... Turn the radio back on. It'll remember where you left off, which is really nice. Turn it back on. Hi-fi. Yeah. Kind of circular. You see, these men hold nice. offices. They don't hold them up. <laughs> fun. So, uh, yeah, so hidden little uh, fun things about it. Okay, so recording. People are going to want to know about recording. Uh, if recording FM, recording the radio... Um, expect 128 kilobits per second at 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, if you're recording voice, interesting thing, it goes 128 kilobits per second at 48 kilohertz on the voice. So when you're recording your microphone, it's better than music, which is surprising because usually it's vice versa. Usually they lower the uh, quality for voice recording because you don't need that high of, of a range. So interesting. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go to FM, uh, where this radio shines. So let's go ahead and pop this up. Now I'm going to use a Kato T1 wire, which you can pick up for right around $12.99. There's cheaper wires out there that work just fine. Um, this is what I have on hand. I clip this here because I'm a subfloor basement. I live near Chicago, Illinois, USA, like I mentioned before. And the current time, this is we're really just doing FM, but current time, 11.44 p.m., Central Daylight Time. All right, so we're going to go to FM. Got a cycle. Turn up the volume, see what's going on. There's our AM. So I think what we'll do here to avoid copyrights and stuff, I'll just uh, do the preset mode uh, and just go through the stations I found. Never face it alone. You'll be treated like the most important patient we've ever had. Relief from nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach. So all you have to do is water and mow. Hurry. Offer ends May 28th. Facebook, YouTube, and X. More info at 95lowrock.com. Studio East, this Friday with Plush. Raymond Chevrolet never tires of giving customers more weight. I got a charcoal mask. Great, because why would I put that on my face? Solving sleep apnea problems is... on the things you love. Air One. Worship now. Faith that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. The track hits your eardrum like a slut to you. Oh, my outfits are tight. You can see my heart beat tonight. Right, yeah. Look at me and I'm getting him right. Yeah. Big knock like, why would I fight? Big knock like, I'm not a... Perfect for you. With Venture X. Commercial free stations waiting for you. WLAYFM HD Aurora Chicago. Escúchanos donde quiera que estés a través de nuestro. Okay, so if you want to go to a station because I didn't pick up a couple, so let's see if they can pick them up here. 91.5, so we'll go 91.5. And the last time an African leader was there invited to a full state and visit you record it, was when Ghana's John Kufuor went to the White House in 2008. But now Kenya's President William Ruto has been afforded the honour. And today he'll hold talks with President Biden. They're expected to include discussion of plans for a multilateral force led by Kenyan police officers. So it takes a stereo and it converts it to mono. Uh, when you hit record, you can tell the difference right away. But it still sounds great uh, when you listen with headphones. Yeah, fantastic. Or in the speakers. And former permanent representative of Kenya to the United Nations. Well, it's an incredibly important visit. When I stop recording, it will start. It'll go right to the TF card play and play back what you just recorded. Is an ambitious leader and is 
looking to have the kind of partnership that will equal that ambition. And so I think the big E once answered is so pause the recording. United States run with Kenya so as to deliver the Resume. jobs, the prosperity, the resilience that Kenyan people expect. I think that's what he'll be hoping. House in 2008. But now Kenya's President is. William Ruto has been afforded the honour. And today he'll hold talks with President Biden. They're expected to include discussion of plans for a multilateral force led by Kenyan police officers to quell gang violence in Haiti. So why Kenya? And why now? For today's Africa Daily podcast, Alan Kasuja talks So there you go. That's the recorded portion. Very awesome. Cool. All right. So that's the FM giving idea. I think there's one other station classical. Uh, let's go back to FM. Yeah, it's the only thing that's a bummer is it go back. This is Africa uh, in its foreign policy. And so Classical this station? Is, uh, and choosing Kenya. Just an absolute beautiful radio. I know you got some questions and I got a quick little another hidden Easter egg on this thing too as well that I thought about and I decided to test. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I've hovered too long on that music. I'll probably end up having to uh, mute that area. <laughs> that's what happens. I get talking. I forget that I'm playing music in the background, and that's not a good thing. But, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and go to AM real quick. And let's pick up on what's going on here. So AM, I'll be honest with you, it's good for locals only. So, yep. Now, see, see, that's, you didn't go too far. This is local. Oh, my God. Now, 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 see, now, 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 from Bloomberg Business, here's Joan Doniger. NVIDIA has been the driver of Wall Street optimism about artificial intelligence. It makes chips that help power a... And in two full days, they, they worked on a Monday and were completely done by Tuesday. These are all Chicago stations. It's WGN Chicago. 847-850-1132. 847-850-1132. There's WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio. You can barely make it out. It, there's a lot of interference. Unfortunately. Weird, Mark. We're Local now, station the here. End of the Thanks for the call. Um, because a lot of attention, it's not just the Dallas media now. I mean, people are noticing, hey, Dallas is in the NHL. Play hey, Dallas is in the NBA. Hey, the court. Rangers just won the World Series. I mean, you would think that other teams in the NFL would put pressure on Dallas, but now the fact that all these teams that play in Dallas are having postseason success, maybe that's the thing that puts a little pressure on Jerry. Yet he's still there, not signing anybody to anything. Lame Duck McCarthy. Zach Prescott. Won the World Series. I mean, you would think that other teams in the NFL would put pressure on Dallas, but now the fact that all these teams... So you get the idea. Yeah, it's pretty simple there. So very cool that you can record it, but it's got to be strong locals only on AM, but that's to be expected. This thing is a beast on FM. It's all about stereo. It's all about being a Bluetooth speaker. It's all about MP3 playback. Um, yeah, so the cool Easter egg I was talking about that you probably would ask me about is, does the radio work without a battery and you just have the Type-C plugged in? The answer is yes. So you could have your clock mode going this year, like your alarm clock, because I didn't show you that, but you can set the alarm. Um, there you go. Yeah, you can set it to be on, and then it's, I think, buzzer. Yeah, wake the buzzer. Um, but yeah, very simple. But you can run it all the time like a clock radio without the battery installed. Uh, that's fantastic. I like that. Um, or if the battery goes dead, it's still a usable radio. You just plug it in the top here. You could probably run it with a power bank. Um, I didn't notice any problem. Uh, noise, we'd probably pick up on AM, but hey, the AM isn't that great anyway. So on FM, it sounded fantastic. It ran Bluetooth, ran recording as well. Uh, the flashlight, everything with the, it hooked up. So yeah, that's, that's nice. It can run without a battery. So that is a high point. 
of this radio. So let's do final thoughts on the L528. Is it worth 25 bucks? Probably not. I would say it's worth about 20 at the most. Uh, that's what I would spend. I did spend only 1250. Yeah, I know I got a close out, but you know, I got lucky. I was at the right place, right time, and I even posted it. So if you aren't subscribed and haven't hit the bell icon, make sure you do that because then you'll get notified of deals because I post them on YouTube for you guys. And everybody gets excited when I do that. So you can check them out for yourself. Uh, sometimes I can't buy it fast enough and get it in here fast enough before the deal is gone. Uh, so there's that. So what I like about it, um, ability to run without the battery. That was a big one. Uh, I had to test that because I knew somebody's going to ask me that question. And uh, yep, addressed it. It's awesome. It has a clock and it has an alarm, which is a neat feature on a radio like this. Replaceable battery. Bingo. Uh, it has FM stereo, which sounds good on these two speakers. In person, it is fantastic sounding. I love it. Bright speaker audio. I do like that as well with these two two-inch speakers. And recording. I love recording the radio and the microphone. The microphone works great. And recording FM, it sounds really good. Uh, just happy with that. Uh, having a headphone jack, too, of course, uh, is a bonus. And, uh, of course, the MP3 player that remembers track position as well. Uh, that's a real handy thing to have with a stereo radio such as this. Uh, what do I want on this radio? Well, I want FM stereo recording. If, it, if it's going to record, please record an FM stereo. That'd be great. Um, yeah, that's... That's a big one, of course. Better AM reception. Um, include a uh, auxiliary in cable. You know what, what? What? Why is there no thing on here? There's no 3.5 millimeter. Come on, guys. And then um, I think there's one other thing: the screen. I know it dims, but when you're on battery, it should go blank. That would be the best way. The little Prunus uh, or the L328 Lating. Um, that one, the screen goes blank to save the battery because the battery's small on that radio. But uh, yeah, they should do that with this radio as well. It should go out, but it stays at this low level while it's on battery. So that's all that is. But that's uh, that's what I'd want fixed on this radio. But overall, it gets an upvote around 20 bucks. If it's 20, it's on sale. It is worth picking up. You'll have a good time. Like I said, recording is great. Uh, FM reception is great. Uh, playback of MP3s is great. So you, you'll just love this all around for an FM stereo or stereo radio in general. So there it is. It's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like. Give the radio a big like. Two, if you like Latin radios and you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of these devices when I review them. And uh, three, comment below what you think about the L528. Is it something you'd pick up for 20 bucks? Does it offer enough, do you think? I think it does. I think it really does for 20 bucks. Not bad. There you are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.